Hello there and welcome. Today I will show you all multimeter parts and their functions. I will show you how and where to use them from ordinary to advanced level. Let's get to work guys. Let's start with resistance. Take a good look at the resistance section. You can call it ohm section. In the resistance section, we have four different types of ohms measurements. We have resistance mode, continuity mode, capacitance measurement mode, diode test mode. Before we move on, head the subscribe button and click the bell to always stay updated to my new videos. What is resistance? Resistance is the measure of difficulties electrons flowing through a particular object. It is similar to the friction an object experiences when moving or being moved across the surface. Resistance is measured in your multimeter. You will have 200 ohms, 20,000 kilo ohms, up to 20 mega ohms, even more in some meters. Always try to set your multimeter in the correct part to get the correct value, especially when measuring resistance. For example, if you are measuring 100 ohms resistor, you shouldn't not set your multimeter to 2000 kilo ohms. Set to 200 ohms to get the correct value. If the resistor, if more than 200 ohms, you can should set your multimeter 1000 kilo. Some multimeters don't have 1000 kilo ohms written on them. If so, then set it to 2000 kilo ohm. What is continuity test mode? Continuity is the presence of a complete path for current flow. The circuit is complete when its switch is closed. Their digital millimeters continuity test mode can be used to test switches, fuses, electrical connections, conductors, and other components. That resistance is determined by the range setting of the multimeter. Take a look at the continuity symbol, capacitance mode testing. The multimeter determines capacitance by charging a capacitor with a known current, measuring the resulting voltage, then calculating the capacitance warning that good capacitor stores an electrical charge and may remain energized after power is removed. So always discharge a capacitor before testing. To avoid multimeter damage, I prefer you use an electrical bolt to discharge a capacitor joint test mode, knowing if diode is faulty or not. The diode is reverse biased when the positive red test lead is on the cathode and the negative black test lead is on the anode. The reverse biased resistance of a good diode displays all on a multimeter. The diode is bad if readings are the same in both directions. Highly damaged when you hear a beep in both sides. 2. DCA is the second thing we will talk about. Take a look at the picture. In most multimeters, it has DC voltage symbol. I know most of you guys have been wondering what, what this is used for. Don't worry, I'm here to tell you everything you need to know. DCA, another amp meter setting. This is used to measure current through DC circuits. The scale settings range from 200 up mere. Direct current amperage, similar to DCV, but instead of giving you a voltage reading, it will tell you the amperage. Don't get confused here. Remember, voltage and current are two different things. Now let's talk about DC section. Direct current range. Surely you know all about that. I guess you use it all day. DC range section is used for measuring direct current. For example, you want to measure the amount of voltage in your phone battery. Set the multimeter to 20 volts in the DC range. The DC voltage range has a V with a straight line next to it. Multimeters are generally not auto ranging. You have to set the multimeter to arrange that. It can measure, for example, 2 volts measures, voltages up to 20 volts. For example, measure 2 to 20V in 20V range, 21V to 200V in 200V range. Set your multimeter range according to the amount of voltage, same as current, just like that. Let's take about an AC range. This stands for alternating current AC. Notes that the voltage in an AC circuit is usually referred to as AC voltage, even though it sounds strange to say alternating current voltage. You'll use these settings when you are measuring a circuit with alternating current or voltage set your multimeter range according to the amount of voltage, same as current, just like that. Now let's talk about HFE. This range is hardly in use though, but you should know the function. HFE is an abbreviation and it stands for Hybrid Parameter Forward Current Gain, common emitter, and is a measure of the DC gain of a junction transistor. So on a multimeter it indicates a mode where the meter can measure, probably crudely the HFE of a transistor. That's all I have to share this time. Thank you guys for your support. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click bell so you won't miss my next video.